Oh yeah, there's a lot of songs in here. <clears throat> Hello. How's it going? So, today is Star Tropics 30th anniversary. If you have been around me for any longer than five minutes, I talk about this game constantly. I have Mike Jones on my island. I constantly advocate him for Smash. And then whenever somebody needs a name of a game, I usually come up with this. So the question is, is it as good as I say it is? No, but it's still pretty fun. And I was waiting for the right time to play it and I feel like it might as well be now. So, I suppose we can then go ahead and get started. Oh, bad gateway. Bad gateway. <laughs> Off to a great start. Um, okay then. Okay, so my Streamlabs widget is broken. That's fun. Yeah, okay, so Streamlabs is down, so if anybody follows, we're not gonna have the overlay this time, unfortunately. Anyway, I got the box right here. Box for the game. The NES was a little bit before my time, so I don't have many game boxes. So you can kind of see, it's not very focused, but you can kind of see. I tried to get a photo of it, but it, it wouldn't send. I couldn't get it on the computer in time. Tropical Adventure of Epic Dimensions. A teenager's dream vacation on a tranquil South Sea island. A shooting star, it's an omen of disaster. Mike's archaeologist uncle has been kidnapped. Mike alone can rescue him. Thus begins the test of island courage. Happy villagers eagerly assist, but endless enemies threaten every step. Mike's search leads him through the lush wilderness of the star tropics. As he travels on foot or by submarine through this sunny land of dark secrets and deadly peril, Mike is a tireless fighter. Using common sense, an island yo-yo, magic potions, and mysterious new weapons and skills, Mike must defend himself, restore his strength with coconut milk, help him defeat strange creatures, sea monsters, and hidden attackers. Join Mike in his adventure, Journey to the Star Tropics. So, I actually do have the things that came in the box here. Uh, let's check this out. I have like a little, oop, there's my controller. I better put that over here. So, you know what, you know what, we should probably like, do this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, full full screen. So I got the instruction manual here. Very few NES games I actually have all this stuff, so So the story. Hi, my name is Michael Jones, but my friends call me Mike. I'm 15 years old and I live in Seattle, Washington. Have you heard of my uncle Steve? Well, most people don't call him that. They call him Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones, eh? He is a very famous archaeologist who is looking for some lost ruins in the Coral Sea. I've never actually met him, but last week I received a letter from him inviting me to stay with him on his lab at his laboratory on Sea Iron. I leave tomorrow on a helicopter. I bet I won't be able to sleep at all tonight. Well, good night. So, uh, there's some art. 
There's some art of Mike that kind of draws him as blonde, and there's some photos of Steve down there. A map of Sea Island. Yeah, and you kind of you kind of get this whole uh, like little comic here with the with the characters that kind of tells you the basic plot. Most of this happens in most of this happens in the game though, so you don't really have to read all this. But it's you know it's neat. You can get some more. Some more art of Mike in there. It's really blurry because my camera is not focused that close, but. Okay, so you got you got this page right here. The Southern Cross is one of the most beautiful of the constellations in the southern sky. Island sailors use the Southern Cross as a guide for navigating the often dangerous island waters. In addition to its use in navigation, the island mystics talk of the strange power that the Southern Cross is said to give those who look to it in a time of crisis. Yeah, so we got that. Got this, uh... Little Nintendo Power poster. I might honestly put that up. Like, I might put that up in my room. Uh, you got this little advertisement for Nintendo Power right here. He's wearing the, uh, soda drink hat. <laughs> Sorry, if I'm kind of stuttering or like misspeaking, I'm talking over myself right now because I'm going to check the volume in a second. But it, most interestingly of all, I have the letter. I have the letter. So, dear Mike, I'm sorry I did not write you sooner but I just returned from a long voyage in the island in search of lost ruins and artifacts. I was very pleased to find your letter upon my return. Boy, time sure is flying by. Last time I saw you, you were just starting school, and now, 15 years old, an honor student and captain of your high school basketball team. Baseball team. <laughs> Misread that. I think it's a great idea that you visit me during your vacation. I'm sure that you'll enjoy the tropical islands, the blue water, and the friendly people you'll find living under the Southern Cross. You can even take a cruise in my super submarine, Sub C. I have enclosed some pictures and a map of Sea Island for you. Hope to see you soon and give my regards to your family. Sincerely, Uncle Steve. Caution. Do not eat, taste, or otherwise consume this paper. This letter is very important, so please hold on to it to the end of the game. <laughs> Do not eat the paper. Do not make spitballs out of Dr. Jones' letter to you. So, okay, we should be ready to start the game for real now. Sorry if that was a little boring, but I mean... I, I just think it's neat! Game volume could be a little bit lower. How's that? Let's see. La 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 la. We get a little introduction of Mike flying to the island, you know, just in case you needed it.
Testing, testing. Check, check. So maybe lower it just a touch, but I think that's good. Okay, so let's suspend my tabs. And you know, let's play the game. So, this screen may look familiar to some of you. You know, you may recognize it from somewhere else. Let's just call the file string. One day in summer, you land at Sea Island where Dr. Jones has his laboratory. All right, so this is Mike. We're gonna walk around. We can go on this beach. There's nothing to do on this beach, but you can go there just to fully immerse yourself. Uh, I noticed there's like a big like, there's a big black bar at the bottom of the screen that's there for me, too. I don't- I don't know why that's there. But, uh, it's- I don't think it's too distracting to you. It's- it's fairly even, I think. Welcome to Coral Cola. This is the town of the island natives. Welcome to Sea Island. Mike, you're an ace pitcher, I hear. Show me how to throw a fastball sometime? <laughs> yeah, so... A famous bug in this game... Is that you You just heard? <laughs> the, the, the backing track to this song just went out of sync. Oink, oink. This pig just mooned me. But yeah, there's a patch that fixes that bug. I might be able to try that later if it annoys anyone. But I mean, I figure that's part of the game. I have to hurry. I'm going to roast a pig for your welcome party. Uh, serves you right. Your uncle, Dr. Jones, is so nice. We call him Dr. J. Oh, last week I met Dr. J. He was busy sh solving some strange puzzle. Where do you come from? Americola? I heard you were coming. Wanna go fishing? Last night I gazed up at the Southern Cross. Suddenly I saw many shooting stars. Legends say shooting stars are omens of disaster. Oh me, oh my. I have never heard anything of the sort. <laughs> I miss Coral 1990. Do you think I'm pretty? Say I'm pretty. Tell me I'm pretty. Have you met our chief yet? He's waiting for you. Mike, your uncle told me about you. I feel like we are old friends. Uh, let's see what he has to say. I've been waiting for you. I'm Ch I'm Chief Coral Cola and a good friend of your uncle. Listen, Mike, I have some bad news. Last night, try not to be too upset, but your uncle, Dr. Jones, has been abducted. We must keep this from the islanders so they don't panic. You are the best hope of rescuing Dr. Jones. I don't know what to do. Can you help? Good, you're brave. Take this island yo-yo. You may think this yo-yo is just a toy, but it's very powerful. Mike, you're an ace pitcher. Use it. Mike, it looks peaceful around here, but in the dark below, many monsters have appeared these last few years. Don't let them get you. Mike, the fate of your uncle is in your hands. Find a tunnel in the village and hurry to Dr. J's laboratory. There we go. Got something to do now. 
So, for some weird reason, you have to talk to everybody before this guy will let you pass. I never understood why that was. I'm the shaman and sister of the island chief. Your uncle was abducted because he found a secret in the lost ruins. I have great hope that you will succeed in rescuing Dr. Jones. Just like your North Star, island sailors look for the Southern Cross. Mike, many wild monsters await you in the dark below. But remember, the magic of the Southern Cross is always on your side. Now begins the test of island courage. Good luck. And now we're on to the meat of the game. So these are the action segments. Mike can walk around, he can jump, and he can attack with his yo-yo. He moves on a sort of grid here. You can go like this. And now we must kill all of the sea slugs. my end, I mean. So these are the dungeons. A lot of the puzzles involve, like, jumping on these blocks to reveal secrets. So, like, for instance, there's a button there, which opens the door. There are rats, as any good cave tends to have. If you get <clears throat> enough of the stars, I believe they heal you. You can also switch items, but I don't have any. I don't have any other items right now. It kind of plays like a mixture of Zelda and Castlevania, if you ask me. Are you saying a cave is bad if it doesn't have rats? I mean, yes, I thought I was perfectly clear about that. So, funny thing about the yo-yo, in later releases of the game, they changed it to be the Island Star because of copyright concerns. But since I am playing the original version, we get, we get to have the yo-yo. Another fun fact about this game, as many of you may know, it was not released in Japan in any capacity, and still has yet to be. However, it was released in Europe a year later. This game was made entirely for the American market by Nintendo. Yeah, so these, you may think, like, what the heck is going on here? I'm just going into skull rooms. I don't get it. Well, that's because I didn't go the right way. But I wanted to check it out anyway. This dungeon music is really good, which is, uh, it's good that it's really good because you hear it a lot. <laughs> so Mike can jump over a one gap hole or like water or whatever have you. That's your limit. You can't jump any farther than one block. So yes, you gotta go up here and reveal this passage. Ah, uh, there's a treasure chest. A treasure treasure. Yeah, so I got an item. I got an item. So I can throw fire. It's not, like, incredibly useful, but it's there.
The one problem with the Star Tropics control scheme is that it's sometimes hard to like <coughs> to get Mike exactly where you want him to go because like if you just tap up, Mike doesn't move. He just looks up. Because it's designed to where you can like do this and just change your aim without moving. The problem is if you want to move, you have to hold it a little bit longer than may feel natural for some. So we got the ominous music. You know what that means. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there's like a secret here. So now we get the very not ominous music, which reveals to us a potion, which we can use to get a full heal. And if you go up here, you can get a second one, which if you need both of these, then I don't understand what's wrong with you, but okay. Now, okay, so I'm gonna put down a save state here because I know about this, but if you try to do it again, though... <laughs> yeah, is that not just such a jerk move? <laughs> you get too greedy and the game's just like, no. Yeah, I mean, I won't lie to you. As much as I sing this game's praises, it is still an NES game and has a lot of that NES baggage. It doesn't do too many things like that, but it's just kind of silly that like you're in the first dungeon and the game just does something like that to you. Okay, first boss. Wait for it to open its mouth, throw some stuff at it. Yeah, it's, it's not, like, too difficult. It's a very simple pattern. And we got him. Also, the Japanese have no room to talk. They created... Well, I mean, technically this was made by a Japanese guy, but... The Japanese got Mario 2 Japan. And that had warp zones that sent you backwards, so they, they can't say anything. Alright, so first dungeon clear. The first chapter here is, you know, not too difficult. Go down here. Alright, here's the worst character in the game. Hi, I'm Babu, Dr. J's assistant. Mike, you know Dr. J has a submarine called Sub C. The ID to start the engine of Sub C is 1492. Please get on board sub C in the laboratory. I wish I could tell you more, but I'm afraid of... of... in the cockpit of sub C. Welcome on board. I am the navigational computer of sub C. Call me Navcom. 
Input the ID code now. ID code 1492. Start engine. Aye, aye, Captain. Sub-C is ready to launch. All ahead full. After a few hours of voyage, Subsea is still cruising on the ocean. So this is the chapter where as a kid I got stuck. It, it's silly now, but I, I as a kid I, I couldn't figure this one out. <laughs> Napcom here, Captain. She is a female dolphin. We'll begin translation. Please find my son. He has disappeared. Captain, may I promise her to find her boy dolphin? Yes. Aye, aye, Captain. Thank you. Please find my son. Have you seen my son? There's a lighthouse. Hello, I maintain the lighthouse. So you're looking for a boy dolphin. Sorry, but I have not seen him. Oh, please visit my wife at our south house. She enjoys company. <laughs> Just the way the backing track peters out. I swear. Okay, so this is where things get a little puzzling. You might see that there's no way around. That's because you gotta, you gotta submerge. But I can't do that yet. Oh no, no, you gotta do this. Welcome, welcome. It's so seldom my husband and I get visitors. So you're looking for a boy dolphin. Sorry, but I have not seen him. But early this morning I saw a bottle on the beach. I wonder if it's a clue to the lost dolphin. Oh, I didn't want to go back in the house. Yeah, so now there's a bottle there. It wasn't there before, but now it is. You've got a bottle. There's a note in the bottle. You read it? Help, captured by evil aliens. Tell my nephew to use code 1776, Dr. J. Yeah, so he's been kidnapped by aliens. Do I want to read it again, no? Napcom here, Captain. Input the ID code now. Aye, aye, Captain. Submergible system ready. Please press B button when you want to submerge. Yeah, so now I can go under the water. Yeah, I don't know why. I just could never figure that out as, as a young lad. Oh, thank you, game. That's very sweet of you to say. Anyway, we now got more help. So let's go. Okay, second dungeon already. Doesn't take too long. I'm seeing some Pokemon overworld mechanics, but that came out six years prior. Or, but this came out six years prior. Yeah, I mean, that's not the only foreshadowing this game will do. But I'll leave it at that. Ah, uh, the fish, the walking fish! Back from the Stone Age. <laughs>
Ooh, ooh, that thing. I don't like that thing. So here we got Octorox. You know. <laughs> I have no idea who this number belongs to. Hello? Hasta el 12 de diciembre para inscribir o renovar su seguro de Obamacare para evitar multas federales. Presiona el 1 para ser asistido por un agente. Yeah, okay, so that's definitely for me. Oh, my family just loves to shout. Shout, that's what it's all about. Okay, so the door didn't open, so there must be a hidden switch I have to press somewhere. And I assume that would be it. Yep. So the baseball bat's good for attacking the corners. They need to just quiet down, man. I'm getting hit by every snake in the universe. Yeah, so you can see there's like some dark patches that are meant to signify to you that there is a hidden passage here. You want to check the blocks. You want to just make sure there's nothing too cool in there. Okay, this is a predicament of a room. Should probably use the baseball bat. Uh. Don't worry, I get him. I'll get him. I wonder how visible those were on old CRTs. Good question. I mean, I think it was visible enough to where I could see things like that. Oh. We got the giant fish. Never a good thing to have the giant fish. Unless you're eating it, I suppose. Okay, well, that's the end of that, I suppose. Oh, okay, that was the load-bearing bat. The, the rest of these are insignificant. Okay, so, as you can see, the screen scrolls, and there's a little black patch there. So if we learned anything, that means we can go over here. And it gives us a snowman. If I'm not mistaken, you can use that to freeze all enemies on the screen, like the clock in Mario 2. USA, of course. Ow. The big fat puffer fish. My worst foe. Don't worry, yippin' dolphin. So let me show you what you use that for. I don't have any potions, so I hope I don't die here. Okay. So freeze the octopus, and then just lay into it. So you can get a lot of damage in on that guy.
Oh. Come on, come on. Let me... I'm not in a good spot. Mike is not in a good spot here. Can't look at chat. Gotta focus. Yes, there we go. And the dolphin is freed somehow. The load bearing octopus. Wow, you've done it! Look at all the points I'm getting that I absolutely care about. Never before have I cared so much about points. I, I can't make it. I can't make any noise that's even close to that. Like, like, look at that. How do you say that? You can't say that. Now come here, Captain. He is the boy dolphin. He is thanking us for saving him. Let's signal his mother. We'll never forget your kindness. Now we must help you. Please follow me. Please follow me. I'll never forget your kindness. What can I say? Dolphins are kind of redundant when they speak. They like to say things over and over. And chapter two's already done. That's a, a pretty decent page. Suddenly it gets dark and stormy on the ocean. The sea tosses the subsea. One sea kills another. Well, there he goes, my sub. Mike is dead. You awaken to find the subsea was wrecked in the storm. It's always strangely calm after a storm. From now on you have to walk. <laughs> I like how this game tells you all fancy like to refrain from turning off or resetting rather than just flat out saying, don't do that. Yeah, this game is like, okay, I know, I, I know that reset button is tempting, right? It's sitting there, all pushable like. Don't do it, please. You know, we ask you to exercise some self self control. You look tired. Here, drink some coconut milk. You drink it and feel much better. Go to Miracola and find help for your wrecked ship. Well, thank you, Coconut Milk Man. Coincidentally, Miracola is the name of my island in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I mean, what? It's an Animal Crossing game that's on an island. I had to do it. You know I had to do it. Okay, little mini dungeon. I think this is the first world in the game that starts having more than one dungeon per chapter. So the first two, you just get one. This has like a couple mini dungeons, I think, before the main one. <laughs> okay, so we can get whatever item is in here. Oh, we got the little uh, clackers that Joseph Joestar uses. And Mike uses them in exactly the same way. Well, potentially not filled with hamel. But, uh, I mean, the principle is still the same. So, uh, here's the flying monkeys from the Wizard of Oz, I guess. The enemies in this game get a little strange. I won't lie to you. I won't make excuses for the game. Yeah, it's a monkey with wings. Then again, I mean, that is pretty cool. I mean, I would want a monkey with wings, probably. 
but it, it gets weirder. So these are projectiles. You can just fire them the length of the screen. I've been using my yo-yo a lot, but later in the game, ugh, I, I will have to use more of these sub-weapons. It, it, it becomes pretty imperative later in the game that you use these. Okay, so this is a tricky little uh, position here. Because the snakes run towards you, you have to jump! And then I walk right into them like the stupid fool that I am. I mean, I got three lives, I don't know... I don't remember what this game does for, like, checkpoints or anything. But if nothing else, I will not get a game over. However, we do get the obnoxious Zelda beep. Also, this is the Jesus room. Very tense, these sort of areas. Okay, we get a heal. Oh, and it- Oh, see, look at these things! Look at these things! These are so weird! And they do, like, a ton of damage, and there's too much stuff in this room. See, this is an upside-down cross, so this is the room of Satan. Oh, and we get the dark room. I think I have to kill the enemies to get the light back on. Or no, I have to press a switch, so... There we go. Yeah, so you... That, I don't know how fond I am of that, but uh, you kind of have to learn the room a little bit. But, but I want to go this way. I want to see what's over here. Oh, right. That's like, if you go up that, if you go up that passage, it takes you out of the dungeon for some reason. I have no idea why this game does that. I thought there was a block there. Okay, so we're back here now. Excellent, excellent. No, I don't want full health. Metroid 1 all over again. What was with Nintendo and just not starting you with full health? Like what, am I really gonna be that much at an advantage? You just thought, like, that he can't- he can't have full health. That, that'll break the game. Start him off with three hearts. That, that's what you get. I'm just gonna say, this game gets hard. <laughs> like, it, 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 it gets hard. Maybe not the hardest game on the any NES library, but it, it, gets pre it gets pretty tricky. I'm just gonna say that. I'm gonna say that several times just so you get the get the message. Okay, I'm low on health, so I should probably abuse the, the clackers. Uh, oh! Ooh! 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 Monkey, no! Monkey! Is there anything over here? Like, this looks like it would be something. I feel like... I think sometimes there are secret, unmarked passages, but... I don't know about this early in the game. Anyway, I have one health. I need to get to the Jesus room. I forgot. Was there anything on these? I don't think there was anything on these. You gotta love that walk cycle. You gotta be quick when you need to be. Uh, you know you're back in health when the music comes back. Oh god. Oh, I thought I was far enough away. So yeah, the, the combat in this game is very tactical. Like, you have to... It's very, like, position focused. It's all, it's all about where you position Mike and, like, keeping good spacing with the enemies. That's what it's all about. That and the tropics. 
It is technically about both of those things. How do I open the door? Okay. I may have to go blow my nose or something. Well, you know what? Let's beat this dungeon first. Wow, you've done it. Yes, all the points. I am rich <coughs> with points. Okay, I'll be right back. Well, I mean, I went off, you know, to, to blow my nose, but I just took the opportunity to take a quick break, grab another drink, you know. It wasn't just to blow my nose, come on. But yeah, uh, my, my like, uh, spectrogram analyzer whatever thing, 
Yeah, it doesn't work if I have foobar minimized, and sometimes I don't remember to max keep it maximized. Anyway, let's, let's keep going. Welcome to Miracola. Where do you come from? You, yeah, so, some other lady already said that. I'm a brave sailor too. Can I go with you? You almost died at sea. Um, er, um, uh, I'm getting seasick. <laughs> I better stay here. I'm so worried. But Nanette has been sick for so long. I'm Miss Mira 1990. You met Miss Coral? Tell me which of us is prettier. Oh, well, you, of course. You're so honest and cute, too. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Our chief loved his daughter very much, but alas, she is very sick. Drink the coconut milk. Drink it. Let's see what this guy has to say. You know about the castle of Shikola? Better not go there. Well, thank you, mustache man. You may enter. I'm just hanging out. He's the chief of Maricola. You look like a... You look like the master from Manos. I'm chief of Maricola. Mike, I've heard of your courageous adventure. Please, can you help me? One year ago, many shooting stars appeared in the sky. And suddenly dreadful lightning flashed. Since that night, my dear Bananet has slept and she will not awake. Please help my daughter, she is upstairs. Some say a mountain hermit who has healing spells. You must find him. Please help my daughter and I'll fix your wrecked ship. I mean, okay, so... I don't know how much of the, like, island native stuff would fly today. But I will give this game credit. These these natives are incredibly competent. It's like, oh yeah, I'm a uh, I'm the chief. Uh, I'm the chief of this island village. Oh what, your submarine's broken? Yeah, I'll fix that. Benanette is sick in bed. Oh, your mic. I'm so worried. Benanette has been sick for so long. Yeah, everything in this game is cola. Every everything. Good luck. Okay, second mini dungeon. Alright, already we're in the snake room. I think this is the best thing to do with the snakes, is just, like, lure them over, wait till they come back around, and then, and then fire at them. Might take you a moment, but it does get the job done. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, the skeleton dodos. Weirdest enemy in video game history. Well, okay, maybe not. I am not doing good in this mini dungeon so far. Oh god. <laughs> the, okay, so the kid gloves are off. Now we gotta put on the pitcher's mitt. Yeah, 
Yeah, so this is what I was talking about with, like, the combat. You really gotta, like... You really gotta space yourself. Oh. Yeah, see... <laughs> <laughs> Game doesn't take long to get hard, huh? Nope. It's... Like I said, it, it, it gets difficult. I mean, this is the NES after all. You know, maybe to be expected. So, what you mostly want to do is, uh... I think you want to lure them across, like, these things. Or maybe you don't, I don't know. Okay, one down. Thankfully, I think just one is easier to deal with. Okay. Alright, so here's another dark room. But this one actually is really clever, I will give it that. Like, the the previous one we saw was kind of stupid, but look. So, okay, you walk in front of the snake, he goes forward. So you clearly see that he stops with two blocks between him and Mike. Which means he hit the end of his path, and thus jumping here will kill you. So you have to find the snake that goes one block. And then die. <laughs> because you have one L. Don't despair, Mike. Under the Southern Cross, anything is possible. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna get some challenge henceforth. That's okay. That's okay. I'm prepared to deal with it. You know, you gotta put the you gotta put the hair on your chest, and then you gotta tear that hair off. What penalties do you face for running out of lives? Uh, you lose your items. You restart the dungeon. Besides that, not a lot. Yeah, so it's all about it's all about the, it's all about the spacing. Yeah, you, it's... It's not a game that's, like, the most punishing NES games. But... The actual dungeon itself... You know, it will pose a problem. It will pose a challenge to you. So yeah, keep them, keep them spaced out. You know, you're faster. By just a hair. Oh, God. <laughs> Look, I said I liked Star Tropics, right? I didn't say I was good at Star Tropics. <laughs> I can like a game and still suck at it. Keep in mind. I mean, most of my streaming career is evidence enough of that. Oh, God! It's like, it's like you mess up, you, you go the wrong way, and these things are already up your butt. Oh, God. But I will say, this is one of those games where when you do beat the dungeon, you feel like you're on the top of the world, man. You know, it's it's like it's like the AVGN said in that one episode, I forgot which one. But he said it somewhere. Oh yeah, it was Street Fighter 2010. 
It's like when everything comes together and you do beat the dungeon, you feel like you're- you feel like you, I have- I'm in a pickle. You feel good. <laughs> so we're gonna feel really good when I beat this dungeon. That's all I'm saying. Might take us a little bit, but <laughs> it'll happen. If I had a sub weapon, I feel like I could. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, you gotta you gotta funnel them through. Oh god, I am. Oh, <laughs> these things. <laughs> you do have a sub weapon, the sub C. Wait. I appreciate your pun, but when have you seen that attack anything? I haven't fired in fired in a torpedus. But yeah, I, I remember now. These these things are the worst. Okay, one, one down. Oh. I mean, one, if you just have one, if you just have one, you can kind of like lay into it and it's not, it's not too hard. So you gotta, you just gotta get rid of the first one. Okay, yeah, so that that poses a problem. Oh, no, wait, you know what you do? You do I'm an idiot. <laughs> I remember that was shorter. <laughs> but I remembered it too late. I should mention, jump over the central cross path. I'm not sure what you mean. But, uh, something I should tell you, something I should clarify. This game operates on Belmont rules, so, like, once you're jumping, you can't adjust the jump. You have to commit. Just to make sure everybody knows. Oh, God. <laughs> space where all the snakes are sitting when you walk horizontally through it jump over that space I am confusion do you mean like like this right here like this Jump over that. No, I can't do it. If Unless there's a gap in your way, Mike just jump straight up. I can do this, however. Okay, so now I'm good. So now, you need to be patient and, like, look at this guy. Yeah, so this guy will show you where the blocks are. And now the lights are on. I'm probably gonna die, but the lights are on. Oh. Oh, uh, yes, finally. So yeah, five stars nets you a heal. I 
I wish I could get some more heal, though. <laughs> that would be nice. Oh, we got this again. Oh, oh, that... That is so tense. The natives are secretly tech wizards that simply don't often use their gift. They just, they just live a sort of nomadic, sort of a, not nomadic, but they live a sort of Amish-like lifestyle. Okay, so here's a mechanic. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, you, you can gamble. And I did that and just lost a life. <laughs> Great! Okay, so you want to kind of jump to the to the side there. I don't know what the clock. Oh, the clock is kind of like the snowman, but you have to use it immediately. Yeah, that that's a no context quote right there. The clock is like the snowman. Oh god, this part. The lava beast. I lose my items if I die. Yeah. You noticed one of the instruments disappearing that time. I don't think it happens in this song. That being said, there is a patch that fixes this. So if it bothers anyone, I could try using that next time. hearts on that path. Oh. Yikes. Yikes and a basket. What, no secret? No secret item? Nothing? I'm screwed. <laughs> I should have gone back for the hearts. And now we're back at the start. We're... to do that with no damage, that's good. I mean, like a lot of NES games, part of it is just learning the strategy. 
like learning what sort of tactics to employ. So like here, this part is like stupid easy now. Oop. God, I don't like the flies. The flies can dies. God, where's where's the floating glove with a swatter when you need it? If you've ever been in a tropical area before, you should know that, like, bugs the size of houses is actually entirely accurate. Remind me not to visit the tropics. I might be exaggerating slightly, but... But it's just sort of those warm, humid areas that, that bugs are just like, oh yeah, give me some of that. So yeah, there I got an extra life. You can actually get two extra lives that way, I believe. Ah, oh, crap. Crap sandwich. You're not frozen at all. You're still moving. Okay, so there's nothing good in this room. So just keep walking. Just keep walking. Do not interact with Lava Beast. Okay, now this time, I am making a point to go up here, grab the hearts. Yeah, they want you to go down here and grab this. It's so tempting, isn't it? Oh, I forgot. Um, do I want to go up there? I forgot what was on the other side of that. I'm doing it. Is there any? Is there any reason for me to do this? Well, we're we're gonna find out. Nope! <laughs> okay, cool story game. <laughs> cool, cool, pointless side area. <laughs> I know, oh, I hate jumping on those. They, they make the butt cheeks clench. They make them tighten up real good. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Best thing yet, though? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So there, there are checkpoints. Confirmed. They're not as generous as they could be, but they are checkpoints. Like I said, it's it kind of plays like top-down Castlevania. You know, this is like this is the whip and everything. I don't like him. No siree. 
I don't like him, no siree! Get that guy away from me! I have to jump on the sinking lava blocks! I have to jump on the lava socks! I know how to beat this boss, but it's... it's kind of execution heavy. Okay, so that's not it. Okay, so you gotta get rid of that thing. I forgot where the next block is. But that's okay. We gotta we gotta find these things out. Ah oh, crud. Crud nugget. Thankfully you can collect items with your yo-yo. So, that's good. It's kind of like the, the sword and like the boomerang in Zelda. You know, you can collect items with your sword. It's fine. This game has such a bizarre like rhythm to it that I cannot explain, you know? Like, it, it really... It really is a rhythm to play this game. It's a rhythm game without the rhythm, I don't know. Mmm, <laughs> clench the butt cheeks tonight. Ah, crud. Crud sandwich. Crud in a bucket. Okay, up up here, it doesn't look like he can get you. Ah, nuts. Ah, butts. Ah, ruts. Okay, that's what you gotta do. Ah, no! But okay, we know the exact position now. Ah, oh, nice! Everything's coming up Millhouse. Yeah, this, this is the part of the game where the kid gloves just come off. In fact, it's not even that the kid gloves go off, it's that the adult gloves go on. And if you've ever seen the adult gloves, they're like covered in barbed wire. I, I don't even feel like I need to get those at this point. The boss, you don't even attack the boss like a normal boss. If you haven't figured it out, we're trying to dump the boss into the water. So, normal attacks are not particularly useful. Okay, come on. Come on, yes! Yeah, baby! Epileptics, please do not stare at the boss. Aw, oh, poor dude, you get to see him. He's like... Ah! Do, 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 You've killed me! Good. And there we go. There we go. There you have it.
Some say a queen of peerless beauty lives in this castle of Shikola, but only women may enter the castle. Seek help in the fortune teller's camp. Yeah, so does this scenario seem a little familiar to anybody? I'm a fortune teller. Sorry, but I can't help you. I dropped my crystal ball into a pond at Ghost Village. It's always a ghost village, ain't it? Always the ghost village. Going to Space Ghost Village. Alright, so here's our next heart upgrade. We're, we, we need as many of those as we can get. It's dangerous to go alone too bad. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. At Ghost Village. So here's a grave that's a different color. And now for the third dungeon of this chapter. This may very well be the longest chapter of the game. <laughs> oh, the bone dog. Luckily I can just stand on this block and wait for them to come to me. Oh wait, I, rem I remember this dungeon now. Oh boy. Now, just a skull. You know, we're not, we're not, <laughs> we're not really dressing it up this time. It's a skull. All right, so. I think this dungeon is a little bit of a maze. Most of the dungeons in Star Tropics are pretty linear, but then they'll throw stuff like this at you. So we went the wrong way. We took the wrong path. So we gotta figure out what the correct path is. Last time we went up that path, so now let's go down this path. This, there's just no logic to the way that enemy moves. No logic whatsoever. There's hidden spookies in this room. Ah, oh, the mummy! It's the mummy! Oh god! The mummy! Starring Friend and Brazier. <laughs> okay, one mummy taken down. All right, all mummies removed. All right, so the magic wand. If I'm not mistaken, that should be helpful up here. Yeah, so see, we got hit. So we use this and the ghosts are revealed. And I accidentally used two of them. God dang it. Yeah, 
basically. So there are many, there are many blocks in this game. Many of which drive me insane. So now we gotta find... I, I know you gotta press something in this room. I refuse to believe anything otherwise. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so this is a room that definitely has ghosts in it. I remember that. I remember that from the last time. So if you went down there, you'd go out the wrong way. Or not. Or this is a bonus. Okay, so this room is a trap. You notice, okay. So this is a really like cryptic hint, but once you figure it out, you're like oh. But usually when you enter the dead end rooms, it plays the like -na 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 -na, you know, like You'll notice it doesn't play here, despite the fact there is a staircase. That's because you go Well, maybe you can go. Uh, you go here. Yeah, I, I... There's like a... There's a path down. I know there is. Like a... There's like another path, right? Cause I, I saw the hearts. I want the hearts. Give me the hearts. Smart decision to make Mike's outline brown instead of black makes it much more readable. Yeah, it... It doesn't, like, look the best, but I think from a game design perspective, it makes sense. Because you really- in games like this, you really need to be able to tell where your character is. Also, I, I realize you get the hearts by going this way. Ow. Okay, I got hurt by a spooky invisible ghost. Nice, cool, uh, arrow here. <laughs> arrow geometry. Dodge fireball, leave room. Oh, okay. Come on, I can't hit you. No diagonal. No diagonal attack. Come on, come on. Oh, ow. Wait, wait a minute. Does, does this light up the room? No. I, I'm missing something here. Okay, please be gone, Skull Man. You are not my favorite robot master. Of course, Mummy Man wasn't either.
Time to jump on the blocks. What kind of, like, how did these blocks even end up here? Like, what kind of ancient culture is putting bl these blocks in the caves? The, the Tetris. The ancient civilization of Tetrala. Okay, so we now have this, which lights up the room. Oh, but only temporarily. So you gotta you gotta keep using it. Oh, er. no, sir, I don't like it. Ah, the hand. The handle. I forget what you do about the hand. The slightly higher notes at the beginning of this music make its repetitiveness a slight bit grating. I understand. It, it kind of, uh... You know, it yeah, it's kind of very a very clear loop point. Okay, so these are separate hands. Okay, I got it. Ah, the mummy room. I promised myself I would never go back to the mummy room. Okay, they can step on the blocks. They they can step on the blocks. <laughs> I did not think they would be able to step on the blocks. And this is why I allowed them to step on the blocks. Oh crap, we gotta go through this part again. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. Luckily, the mummies are very slow. They do not move at a breakneck pace. So unlike the dodos, they are very easy to outrun. Honestly, I probably would have introduced the mummies before the dodos, because the dodos are like a, a harder version of the mummies. But hey, uh, do, do I look like John Startropics designer? No, of course not. That would be silly. What kind of last name is that? So did I check the, the bottom right one here? Is this just for the lantern? I think so, I think it's just for the lantern. The Gibdo. It takes my... It takes my item away. <laughs> I mean, if you know the room... Well, then first of all, ha! <laughs> but also... You can just... You can, like, just brute force it. You don't actually need the lantern. The problem is... I'm not confident in my ability to do so. Like, have you have you seen my memory? 
You know my memory is awful. Also, that was the load-bearing mummy. That last mummy is unimportant. Inconsequential. Now just book it for the- oh! Book it for the exit. Okay, so I can, I can at least make it through there without needing to look. Oh god, not Zahandu. I'm going to die. And I'm going to have to restart the whole dungeon over. I really don't want to have to restart the whole dungeon. I'll be real with you. Yeah, the fire makes this a little bit harder than it would otherwise be. Okay, there's a... Yep, there's a block here. Ah, uh, no. No. Can I get a heart? Not a fart. Okay, cool. I don't I don't get nothing. The mummies are back. We are back in the mummy room. Let's go up here. Okay, we we got the devil dogs, but I can deal with those. I would like some health. I would like some meat up on my health bar. Health bar. These games don't have no stuff. Life, 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 life. Give me the life. Oh, oh, you... Yeah, sometimes the music goes out in the background because of the heart beeping. I get the distinct feeling, yeah. Ah, oh, crud! I hit B because I... I want to go back and then I'm like, oh no, wait, this is, this is an old video game. This video game was made before manners were invented. Give me, give me the star, give me the heart, give me whatever you got. Alright, devil dog. The devil dog. No, please, devil dog. Please. I'm just a small boy. Oh. I got the reflector. Oh yeah, alright, I forgot. That when Reflecto is cut off from sunlight, he becomes weak. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> this dungeon's just long. <laughs> you 
You are kidding me. What kind of video game is, is, is this? this? This dungeon is so long. Okay, I'm gonna give it one more go. And then, probably after this one, regardless of if I win or lose, that's probably gonna be it for the stream. Yeah, this, but this dungeon's like five hours long, dude. My bro. You know what, honestly, if I was smart, just like purposefully get it wrong in order to get my health back. NES, it was it was definitely a console that existed at some point. <laughs> that much I can say unto you. <laughs> it would be funny if it killed you for doing that. You know what? You're right. It would have been. I'm gonna do it one more time though. It stinks though that when you go down the wrong side it doesn't let you go back like you just have to know in advance that's the wrong room okay that should be good I'm not I'm not gonna go in there to get that one heart back <laughs> so let's try ghost city one more time one more go great Whatever. Oh. Mm. What sucks about this room is that this is before this is before you get the magic wand, so you can't reveal the ghosts. Unless there's something I'm missing and there's some other room where you can get it. Look, I I'll tell you. I'll be the first to admit, Star Tropics is not exactly a paragon of excellent game design. I, I won't <laughs> I won't make any excuses for it. Sometimes it does some really annoying things. Oh, I didn't know that moved. so I can hit you. Come over here so, so Granny can give you a big kiss. You can do this though, which is pretty awesome. Like you can you can attack him like mid jump. You can turn and attack him mid jump, which is pretty pretty cool. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Well, at this point, you might as well game over. Just get all your get all your stuff back. Well, not get all your stuff, but get your lives back. Okay, last attempt, last attempt. I might go and get my health back, but then 
but then we'll do it. Demon Dog does not want to come over here. You know what? I'm, I'm not going to go get the hearts. You know why? You want to know why I'm not? Because I'm just not going to get hit. See? Just, just don't get hit. Well, okay. The ghost I will give you. I mean, this game, this game will put the, the fear of God in you. Why is the other dog over here? Doesn't make any sense. That, that, that's ludicrous. Yeah, why'd you gotta put it? Why'd you gotta put it there? Like, I mean, maybe they're trying to teach you that there are ghosts in the dungeon, but uh, I could have thought of a couple better ways to do it, probably. Okay, dude, I'm over here. Don't have a cow, man. Like, don't have a cowabunga. Okay, now I know that the ghosts move. Do not walk down on top of them. Okay, give me the stars. I desire the stars. The stars at night are not dull and dim when they are the Southern Cross. What is kind of annoying is you have to wait a second or two before you can move the menu again after using the item. Kind of wish that wasn't like that. But hey, maybe someone will make a patch to fix it. I don't know. I mean, somebody also made a patch to make Mike move quicker. Like, like he doesn't do this. He only does this for one frame. That being said, I, I feel like it kind of makes the game harder to play, if I can be real with you. Like, I feel like it actually makes the game harder. Because it's it's harder to- like, it's easier to move, but it's harder to aim. So, uh, your mileage may vary on that one. I thought I jumped up. My, my brain was like, yeah, you jumped up. You did it. Oh boy. Okay, I'll give it one more go. One more go. This is gonna be like one of those, you know, death reel games, I can already tell. We're gonna need a Star Tropics death reel. <laughs> one more, he says. Two more after the one more. Well, you know me. 
You'd know me. I'm mostly just saying that because we're reaching the two hour mark and I feel like that I should probably stop about that that point for my own sanity and others but you know it, it, it is like spelunky you always you always want to get you always want to do it you want to get farther <laughs> suck it ghost I mean, I'll be real with you. I don't know if you know this about me. You probably do. I kind of love hard games. Oh, you can do that. <laughs> I love a good challenge. Also, speaking of which, uh, the Cuphead DLC has apparently been, been delayed into next year. <laughs> Cuphead DLC has been delayed in the next year, which is not terribly surprising. Looking forward to that when it comes out. I, I had a lot of fun with Cuphead. I sometimes forget I streamed it. <laughs> it was over kind of fast. I, I forget that I stream it sometimes, but I did. But yeah, I will stream the DLC one day. So I would like to I'd like to do more Cuphead. Well, Cuphead. <clears throat> okay, so if you jump over that water, just like as soon as you get in the room, you should be fine. <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I should. I probably shouldn't have to do that. But nonetheless. Like I said, you kind of get into a groove playing this game, and like you saw me dying on the, the brick, the block. Sometimes you get into such a groove that your brain does not process that the move you tried to make actually did not work. <laughs> so I just jump into the water because my brain's just like, yeah, you made it. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Castlevania is a lot like that too, honestly. You just, you get into the groove. And it's like, it's, it's rhythmic. It's like hypnotic, actually. Thank you for give me stars. Oh yeah, today is the ninth anniversary of Mario Kart 7. Feel old. Yeah, but I also started feeling old when I learned that Mario Galaxy was 10 years. <laughs> I was not ready to learn that. God, I remember... I remember being so excited for Mario Galaxy, like, that's one of those games that I distinctly remember the build-up for, like, I, playing the demo in the game, in a GameStop. Good times, good times. And I remember playing it on Christmas Day. Okay, so far, so good. <laughs> okay, thank you. Alright, I gotta press the button. 
I wasn't aware of the game's existence until we got it for Christmas. I remember feeling kind of down, and then my dad told me they kind of had they had some kind of new Mario game about space, and things kind of went from there. Well, I mean, that's a heck of a thing to get you in a good mood, I think. If I, if I had just been told, like, oh, hey, uh, there's, a, like, a Mario, Mar new Mario game just out of nowhere. Oh, uh, and speaking of, since it's, like, since it's topical, because we found all that stuff in the manual, man, I used to love getting n n new issues of Nintendo Power. Like, even after the internet kind of obsoleted it, I will admit. There was just something so neat about getting that in the mail, and just s seeing all of that. And I was, I was sad to see it go. That was like the only magazine I ever subscribed to. Ow! Is there a ghost in here? Mario Galaxy ended up being the first game you played all the way to the end. Well, that's that's great. Oh, ow, that's not. I took a I took a gamble. I, and Mike holds a little little sign when you paused. I'll have to do that stream of Mario Galaxy I've been saying I'm gonna do. I... <laughs> Just took the wind right out of my sails, didn't it? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, oh, no, Mike, I scratched my nose. Death by nose. Hey, and Mike's fighting mummies, more Castlevania, more Castlevania similarities. I'm just saying. I never remember this room. Yeah, you go two down, and then you go up to here. Uh, God, what is with my nose right now? Yeah, this run, not looking good. Not looking good, this attempt. Oh, well, nice of him to give me a heart, at least. <laughs> Just ignore them. It'll be fine. Okay, so I think this is where I was last time. The Devil Dogs. Or was I here? No, I, I was at least here, because I remember doing this.
Don't use two. Do not use two. Oh no, it was the wizard. We went to wizard passage. Got no 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 Cause I made a very I made a very predictable SpongeBob reference. Oh god, why'd I do that? That was the dumbest move! Well, that's about that's about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it there. But we will be back. We will be back with with Island Courage. And Mike just auto paused the game. I I guess no, that doesn't make any sense. Never mind. Don't worry about it. See ya.